feeding your baby overnight is a really, really big topic. And it is true that every baby is going to have slightly different needs during the night. However, not all night waking is caused by hunger. If you want to find out more, keep watching because today I'm answering your sleep question. My five month old wakes frequently during the night to feed. How many times should I be feeding her? Tell me in the comments below, how is your little one sleeping overnight? Are they waking to feed? Are they waking for some other reason? And what are you doing to help them sleep? In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about what might be causing a five month old to wake overnight and what would be considered normal in terms of feeding a five month old overnight. So stay tuned. But first, let me introduce myself. I'm Nikki. I'm a mother to three children and I'm one of the founders of Little Ones a company that is all about infant and toddler sleep. Through my experience with my own children, I've learned a heck of a lot about sleep. I've struggled, I've had sleep deprivation, I've done it all, tried it all, and now I'm here to help you with your little one's sleep. We have developed a set of comprehensive sleep programs which are delivered through our mobile app. They cover everything from naps to settling to awake windows to night sleep to night waking to self settling to early morning waking, you name it. The answers you are looking for are in there. Make sure you check us out www.littleones.co and ask us any questions you need to in the comments below as well. We will always jump on and answer them. Right, so let's look at this five month old night waking. I'm going to start by saying that it is still very reasonable to, to expect to be feeding a baby overnight at this age. That said, I would not be expecting to feed a baby every couple hours at this age. Realistically, at five months, you could expect one, maybe two overnight feeds assuming your little one is getting a good amount of feeds in during the day. Feeding or waking to feed every couple hours might actually be an indication of something else. So I'll quickly just go through what else could be causing those night wakes in a five month old baby. The first would be that their wakes aren't actually caused by hunger, but they're being misinterpreted as hunger. And so you end up feeding your baby back to sleep. So they end up having a lot of milk during the night, even though they perhaps originally weren't waking for milk in the first place. So the, the key causes of that kind of wake might be that they were overtired at bedtime, which would indicate that then they didn't have enough naps during the day. They could also be undertired at bedtime, which is the opposite, which would mean that they had too much daytime sleep. And so it prevents them from going into a really deep sleep overnight because they're just not tired enough. So they're just waking because they're having a restless sleep. And then those wakes are being misinterpreted as hunger. They could also be waking because they're in the habit of being fed to sleep. This is where the term self-settling gets used. Once your baby goes through the four month sleep regression as it's called, and their sleep cycles mature and become more differentiated, they start waking fully between each sleep cycle overnight, which is around every two hours. If your little one is in the habit of falling asleep by feeding or by sucking, then they are going to need that replicated every time they are naturally rousing between those sleep cycles. So if your little one at this age is waking every two hours, for instance, or even every two hours after midnight to be fed, it is likely that they are actually just needing to be to suck to get themselves back to sleep. So in that situation, I would be looking at some ways that you can gently remove the, the feeding from the sleeping and steer your baby toward the skill of self-settling, which simply means they're able to fall asleep more independently. And this will resolve those, the night wakes for them wanting to, to suck back to sleep because they wake up during the night and they know how to go back to sleep on their own. But don't worry because if your baby is still needing one or two feeds in the night at this age, they will still wake and call out for those feeds. So even if your baby can self-settle to sleep at their naps and at the start of the night and during the night between those sleep cycles, they will still call out to you when they genuinely are hungry and need an actual milk feed. Another thing that can cause a bit of an unsettled sleep overnight in 
babies this age is if they're using a night light or something, if there's something bright and stimulating in their sleep environment, that is actually going to prevent them from going into a deep sleep. And so they're probably going to be a bit more restless and wakeful as a result. So make the room as dark as you can. I would be using some white noise to help them transition through those sleep cycles as well. So assuming your little one is on a really good nap pattern during the day, assuming that their sleep environment is nice and dark and sleep inducing, and assuming that their settling ability is pretty good and they're able to transition between sleep cycles on their own without needing you to feed them just to go back to sleep, you still could expect, like I said, one, maybe two night feeds at this age. And once your little one is more established on solids, sort of beyond six months old, I would be expecting one night feed, maybe until eight months when they start start taking a lot more solids in during the day. If you need any help getting any of these things happening for your little one, if you need any help getting a really good age appropriate nap routine happening, or working on those gentle self-settling methods that I was talking about, we would love to help you through our sleep program. We've got a ton of information, schedules, and also a lot of methods for you to choose from. So you're working with your baby's sleep association and with your parenting preference as well. Make sure you visit us, www.littleones.co, to check out our sleep program and have a look at how we can help you. I hope that's helped you understand a bit about what might be causing your baby's wakes and given you some ideas about a few things that you could try. Thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.